What's up, Greg? How's it going? I have a serious problem. This is a frame from my most recent video about Rebecca Zamolo, and this whole setup is bugging me. Look at all this blank space in the background. It just looks ugly and bad. This part's fine. This part's great. I even quite enjoy these little guys, but in general, the big blank walls are the part I have a problem with. So what- oh, fuck, I'm zoomed in still. One second. So what I thought I would do today is fix that shit. So we just moved into a house. So I finally have like an office, a whole room dedicated to being an office. I've got a big old desk. I've got sound dampening foam that doesn't fucking work as you can tell by the echo in here. I've got a great rug and I've even got a little spot for my dog to sit while I film and edit. It's everything a little boy could ever ask for in an office. But the one problem with having such a large space is that you have to decorate it and I am very bad at that. The first thing that I thought is like, why not just put some pictures in the background? So one of the ideas for a picture I had was just taking a screenshot from my own video and putting it in the background. So I've got Photoshop here and I've got uh, this picture of me. And I'm just gonna put it in the background right over there. That way when you see a video of me, there will be a, a picture in the background so you know what you're watching. Now there's only one problem with this and that's that I want this to look exactly the same as the background that it's going to look like. Which would mean that there would be a picture right here of this picture. So in Photoshop I just added that into the background and now I'm gonna print it. Do the people at Walgreens look at the pictures when they print them out? Because I'm just, because I just sort of realized that like the picture that I'm printing out is a picture of me sitting at a desk with the same picture of me in the background and I'm just wondering if whoever is printing that out uh, is going to see it and then see me, the guy from the picture, come and pick it up. I'm just, I guess, wondering how embarrassing this is about to be when I go and get this picture. Oh shit. Okay, another quick question. How the fuck do people vlog in their cars? Alright guys, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is I got my poster. The bad news is I went into Walgreens and and the poster was still printing. I could see it printing out. And then while I was standing there, I saw the woman behind the counter just take the poster, look at it, look at me. And then she sort of sighed and rolled it up and then she handed it to me. And to make it even worse, she's not the only one who saw it. She rolled it up into this little thing and then I had to go to a different woman to check out. And the barcode for it is right here and you could just see my creepy little eyes staring at you through the thing while you scan the barcode. And now looking at this, I'm realizing how how dumb this is. This was a very dumb thing to do. Yeah, there she is. Just like I planned. <laughs> wow, this looks so bad. I can't believe I'm gonna hang this up in my room. Um, okay. I think the next plan is to go to Target or something like that and see if I can get a good frame for this and just to find some other little decorations that I can use to spruce up the place because just having this in the background is definitely uh, gonna be pretty fucking weird, so I should get a couple other things to distract you from how weird this is. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's the poster that I'm going to be hanging in the background, but I can't just hang up the poster by itself, so I went and got myself a frame to put it in. After I got those things, I was thinking, okay, there's still a shit ton of space. So I was trying to think of like, what, what could go in that space? I mean, what do I want in the background to define like my videos and my aesthetic and my style? So I was like racking my brain and then I started thinking about the one decoration that I have here already, this little nutcracker guy. Now he's been with me through thick and thin. Thin, mostly thick. I was trying to think like what does this guy represent, you know? And I found something at Target that I think really exemplified that. And that is this poster that I found in the little girls section that says reach for the stars. Two other things in that some same sort of vein. They're just little words. This one says grateful and this one says thanks. So I think I'm just gonna hang these up on the wall just to sort of say like thanks for watching. I'm very grateful. And then the last thing that I got, which is really the icing on the cake, are a few letters. G, R, E, and G. When I was checking out, the woman who was checking me out, she like ringed all these up and then she just stares at them and she goes, Greg? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, is that you? And I was like, no. Well, kind of, but no, it's not my name. I think that I'm gonna paint these because they're sort of the exact same color as the wall, so I don't think they're gonna stick out 
well enough. I bought some paint and some brushes. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is paint these, and then I'll hang everything up, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, quick update. Um, I painted the Greg letters, and they sorta look like shit. It looks a lot better though. I think that these will look good on the wall. Oh yeah. Well actually now that I'm holding it here I don't really know. It doesn't really look that great at all, but uh, we'll see. Okay, the letters are looking a lot better I would say. I added a second coat to them. Are they looking perfect? No. But will they look okay kind of far away in the background, like sorta out of focus? Maybe. Come to Papa. I hate that I said that just now. That actually looks pretty good now. That looks pretty dope. So I think it's gonna go right here. Um, oh fuck, what is that? Some piece of something got trapped in between the glass and the picture. I don't even know what that is. It looks like a piece, like a crumpled up piece of tape or something. Do I wanna take it back out? Or am I just going to leave it and hope nobody notices? I'm gonna take it out. Now guys, I know I haven't really been using this second channel very much. I initially, a while ago, I decided to start using it to post like sketches and stuff on, but then I realized I don't really have many ideas for sketches. And I would like to have some sort of way to show a little bit more of my life and just make other types of videos. So I just want to experiment with like different types of videos on this channel. I don't know if they're all gonna be vlogs or whatever this is, but I'm just gonna try it out. If you guys have any ideas for what you want me to do on this channel, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Honestly, the world is our oyster, Greg. Your wish is my command, unless I don't want to do it and then I won't. So now to hang this up, I'm going to be using command strips because in my lease it says I'm not allowed to use nails. That's honestly probably for the best because I feel like if I tried to hammer a nail into the wall with my level of coordination and handyman skills, uh, I would probably end up sawing off my own hand. Go ahead and remove that. Get it nice and sticky up in this bitch. I think right here. What? holy shit. I did not even realize this. I, I painted the Greg like this light blue and it matches this like perfectly. I wasn't even thinking about that. Am I good at this? Am I good at design after all? Okay, to figure out where I'm gonna put things, I'm gonna put my camera where I usually film from, and I'm just gonna sit. I don't wanna be covering anything, really. So this, that's not where I put my camera. Where do I put my camera? Okay, this is about where I film from. I'm gonna leave the chair here so I have reference, and maybe this. I can't even, I can't see all the way over there. What did I think was gonna happen? The screen's too small, I can't even see. Can't even, I can't see this. All right, I think I got it. I, um, I, I think I got it, and by that I mean I, I, uh, I'm just gonna wing it. I think the biggest hurdle with hanging these letters is gonna be making them level and even. I think there's about a 10% chance that I do this well, and a 90% chance that the letters are sort of like this, just all over. I don't know if you can you could tell by the soundproofing panels earlier, but they're all crooked and shit. I didn't do a good job of lining anything up. So I think I'm gonna start here. Maybe here. Oh, hell yeah. That looks good. Make sure they're lined up. Make sure I'm spelling Greg correctly. Okay, I'm starting to feel like this isn't level anymore, but fuck it, we're too far to turn back. We just gotta keep cruising. Oh, that looks good. That actually looks pretty sick. Damn, ooh, okay. Now here's the problem, is that this looks really good. And I have to hang up other shit too. Now I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. And I think it might just go right under the Greg, since they match so well. Something like that. Does that look good? Can't tell. I'm kind of, I don't feel like I want to use grateful anymore because it, it makes the thanks make too much sense. Maybe I'll just put it right under here. It's almost like me being like, here I am and thank you. Hmm, I like it. Am I done? Okay, here's where I usually film from. And fuck, there's still a shit ton of blank space here and I'm covering half of the shit with my head. Great. And it looks so condensed here now, looking at it through the screen, it looks like I just decorated this tiny corner of my room and now there's this giant ass space here. Should I just put grateful right there? <laughs> All right, oh yeah, there we go. Look at my head fits perfectly in the middle of the decorations. This is great. I think this looks awesome. I guess everything sort of turned out okay. Granted, the, the color scheme on this side does sort of make it look like I'm recording these videos in a nursery or like a little boy's bedroom, but maybe I am, you, you don't know. Well, I think there's only one thing left to do now and that's get everybody's opinion on it. All right, Pina, what do you think of the new decorations? What do you think? Oh. 
Come, what are you doing? Come back, hey. All right, come on in. Did you make it? Yeah. You chose that pose? How about thanks? It's like, thanks for watching, or just thanks for the wall. Danny, it looks like we're having a baby. This is like what you do in a nursery. You put their name and like a little cute thing. <gasps> are you <No>. pregnant? <laughs> well. Well, your nursery looks really nice. All right, bye.